friends, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to share a Hobby Lobby shop with me. I have not been in Hobby Lobby in forever and I really was not intending on filming a shop with me today but I knew I wanted to see what was new here and I thought, you know what, I might as well bring the camera along with me and just kind of show you guys what they have in stock for those of you who um, like shopping at Hobby Lobby and maybe you too have not been there in a while. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to limit you know, my footage to items that really catch my eye. And hopefully your decor style is similar to mine. I imagine if you are a regular subscriber of my channel, then your your decor style is probably quite similar to mine. Um, but yeah, I'll try to get a, a broad range, but this store is so huge and there's just so much that, um, there's so much to be seen. If I filmed everything, this video would be an eternity. So I'll try to stick to just the things that really catch my eye. My decor style is very much uh, modern yet traditional. So I, I kind of, I think I probably fall into the decor style of transitional. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, but I'm going, well, I wanted to share with you guys this video I came across, this YouTube channel. It's called The Deal Guy, and he shares all kinds of tips and tricks on how to get the best deals at different stores. So I'll have his channel linked below if you want to check him out, but I thought I'd mention him in today's video because he has a video specifically for Hobby Lobby and like what days you, you should shop there and just tips on how to get the best deal there. So if you shop at Hobby Lobby, you know that their prices can be quite expensive. I never buy anything here without having either a coupon or if it, you know, I won't buy it if it's not on sale, that kind of thing. So anyways, I'll stop talking. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If I find, if I do purchase anything here, I will try to share it after, um, when I come back to my car. So anyways, give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, subscribe if you're new and let's go shopping. As soon as you enter Hobby Lobby, they have a foyer full of different furniture pieces. And normally I kind of just pass right by this section and go directly into the store. But on this particular day, I decided to stop and take a look. And I was really impressed with this wooden bench. I was so drawn to this. I love the combination of the metal with the wood, definitely more of a modern industrial look, but I was envisioning putting that in my foyer area and I may have to go back and revisit that bench because I keep thinking about it. I also was drawn to these marble top side tables, so pretty. They also had this egg chair for lack of a better word. I've, I'm not sure what the formal name for this style chair is, but that's what I call it, egg chair. Um, but so pretty and classic looking. That I believe was half off, so I don't think it was I don't think it was at full price. I believe that was marked down for half off, but that would look just fantastic on your outdoor patio. So moving on to florals, and you cannot stop at Hobby Lobby without checking on, checking out their floral department. They have a huge array, huge selection of different floral styles. So if you are looking for new stems to add to your vases, definitely take a look at Hobby Lobby. They were not on sale on the day I was shopping, but usually they are marked down. So if they're not on sale when you're shopping, come back another day or check with, with an associate to see what day they plan to mark those down. Next, I'm going to go over their pots and I loved their selection of pots. I was also drawn to these topiaries. They looked such, they looked to be good quality and they were full price, but I believe if you download their app, you can get a coupon for a percentage off a full priced item. I was particularly drawn to their stone style pots and vases. I was in love with these two larger ones on the bottom right hand corner. They were gorgeous and I just absolutely love that stone clay look and these would just make a statement 
all on their own if you didn't add any plants to them but obviously if you added a plant that would just be gorgeous as well and these would be perfect for indoor use or outdoors but definitely a high-end look and I was in love with their dried florals they had quite the selection of dried florals if that's something that interests you they are more on the pricey side but dried florals and stems just gives the space a different kind of look I don't know how to describe it but almost looks a more expensive look I don't know I don't know how to describe it but I like it and they also had a nice selection of different style mosses these are perfect for filling filling a decorative bowl or tray or you could also fill the top of a pot definitely a nice look I love that look and I cannot stop at Hobby Lobby without checking out their basket aisles they have a lot of different style baskets and quite the selection I love the look of the hyacinth baskets definitely more of a coastal look but I love that look I love coastal decor and if you are drawn or if you're obsessed with baskets as much as I am give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below because I absolutely love baskets and whenever I go to a home decor store I always have to check on their baskets I feel like you can never have too many baskets moving on to the trays these were kind of intertwined with the basket uh, department and I love trays. They are a definite staple for your home decor. They had quite the selection of these, um, what do you call these, dough bowl trays, if I'm not mistaken. And they also had the tiered trays, which are a nice look. Those are a lot of fun to decorate. But also the rattan uh, basket weave trays, I, I love that more coastal look. Definitely a perfect look for summertime. Moving on to mirrors and these gold style Victorian era kind of mirrors are really trendy right now and Hobby Lobby had quite the selection of these. They had them in round ones, smaller ones, medium sized ones, and large ones. So if you're looking for that style of mirror, definitely, definitely check out Hobby Lobby. They also had, you know, your traditional wood style and floor length mirrors um, but definitely a large variety and I don't think you'd be disappointed but I would come with a coupon because the mirrors were kind of on the pricey side and I wanted to also mention this next item which is a floor tile DIY project it kind of doesn't fall in the mirror category but it was nearby and I wanted to talk about this because I thought this would be a great way to disguise any ugly flooring that you might have so these are actually vinyl sticker tiles so it's like a peel and stick vinyl floor tile and I thought that was such a neat idea they had a variety of of different patterns i was particularly drawn to the black and white pattern here and then the one below it i thought that was a very classic look I love how Hobby Lobby showcases their decor. They have little displays of similar decor. It's a great way to get inspiration and it just gives you an idea of how you could coordinate different decor pieces. And I am always drawn to the neutrals. I love a white and neutral decor, but I love this little pillow with the plaid print. That would look so nice on a side chair in your living room. And they had a variety of ceramic jars that would be perfect in your kitchen. I love the wood lid on those ones. Those ones were actually marked down as well. And I love blue decor as well. I feel like I'm saying love a lot, but I can't help it. There's so much decor here that I did love. I also liked the, I liked these wood framed artwork. They had, they came in three different prints and I thought that would be a really nice look to have all three prints side by side if you had a large wall space. Just so many different unique decor pieces that I was drawn to. I could have spent forever in this store.
Before we move on to their garden department, I wanted to highlight these decorative bowls. I loved the black one. It was actually on clearance and the white one too was really a pretty bowl, but how beautiful is this gold kind of stamped uh, metal one? Such a pretty high-end look. And they had a large selection, well not a large selection, but they had a nice selection of these decorative bowl fillers. And they had them in these very neutral colors. They also had them with, you know, some darker black and also blue, but definitely check them out. They were half off as well, which is even better. And last but not least, I had to point out these white candle holders. Such a pretty look. This would look nice if you wanted to put these on your fireplace mantle or even down below in front of your fireplace. And also I can envision putting those um, on like a longer dining room table. That would be a nice look. But moving on to the garden department, I had to check it out because obviously with summer right around the corner, we're all kind of itching to get outside and take care of our flower beds, or at least I am. And they had a nice selection at different chimes and different kind of outdoor lighting. I liked those solar powered lanterns. Those were really pretty. They also had a nice selection of cushions. Here they had two designs of a ottoman that would be nice to put out with your outdoor furniture. They had a nice selection of large outdoor area rugs as well, so check them out. But in their outdoor area, they also had some trays, which I was surprised because I feel like these trays could be used for both outdoor and indoor, but I love the style of these. Definitely a trendy look right now and they had a large selection of planters. So if you're looking for planters, I would recommend coming here. They had a lot of these kind of wood stool planters, which is a really cute look. And they had them in a variety of sizes and shapes. Hobby Lobby has a huge kitchen department. I love that they have each aisle categorized by a theme and i was really drawn to this wooden themed aisle they had a lot of wood cutting boards i love these pedestal trays and this little kind of riser would be so cute to put next to your sink you could put a soap dispenser and a scrubbing brush for your dishes that would be such a cute look I love this kind of more coastal serveware. These dishes reminded me kind of of seashells with the little, the little balls on the edges reminded me of pearls. I thought it was such a cute look, especially with the rattan style placemats. If you're looking for that coastal table setting, I think this is your aisle, but they had a variety of those rattan placemats in different colors and styles. And I was just really drawn to this aisle as well. And I love this white pot. Um, this would be perfect for your kitchen to put your utensils in. And how cute are these flower sugar coffee little canisters? Again, a perfect staple for your kitchen. Here is a variety of some of their placemats. They have quite a selection, different styles. Um, so if you are looking to redecorate your kitchen, check out Hobby Lobby. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Last but not least, let's talk about their seasonal decor. And they were still putting out their 4th of July decor while I was there, but there is a little glimpse of what they had. But I love this kind of festive fruit look. Lemons are a great 
summer decor piece if you want to add even just a jar an empty jar of or a vase of lemons on your kitchen island that's a pretty look or on your kitchen countertop if you don't have an island and then they still had kind of this new or this easter kind of colors um, these definitely were probably part of their spring collection but all of their spring shop items were actually half off so you may want to stop by there and take advantage of the sale I did find a few things. I did not go overboard. To be honest, I really didn't see anything that I was completely in love with, except for these three items that I have. This is just a really mini shopping haul. So I did save myself some money, but I wanted to show you what I did buy because I think they're pretty, they're really nice items. So I will start with this first item and this is a cookbook holder. And this reminded me a lot of the Hearth and Hand one at Target. It's just a simple, basic wood one. It has, you know, the stand on the back. But how pretty is that? And it was half off of $35. I thought that was a really good buy for that. And I like the little, it has kind of like this little leather um, strap at the top. But so cute. And this is going to look adorable in my kitchen. I actually don't have a cookbook holder, so... I kind of needed this and I wasn't intending on buying a cookbook holder today but I saw this and saw that it was half off so I went ahead and picked that up. I also got some napkin holders. Um, it's just this solid white kind of like a driftwood design to it. I don't know if you can tell but just a pretty kind of basic napkin ring and I got six of these to um, I plan to decorate my dining table for summer do like a little summer setting table setting and then finally I did buy this really pretty decorative bowl and I love using decorative bowls in my decor if you saw my last video then you know this um, but I saw this bowl here this was on clearance for $9.99 I thought that was a good price it's quite large and um, it is ceramic I like the little kind of design on it but I love using decorative bowls. I'll probably put this on my sofa table. I could put this on um, my kitchen island or on my bookcases. And I bought this bowl filler for lack of a better word, <laughs> but this was half off and I thought this would look really pretty in the bowl. Um, and I like the colors of this filler is both black and white and it just has, has random size orbs in it. But this was regular price, $14.99, and I got it half off. All of their um, table decor, I believe, was half off. And yeah, this is going to be really pretty in that bowl. But that is everything that I bought, which wasn't much. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned because for my next video, I am actually doing a collaboration with two other wonderful ladies here on YouTube. We're going to be decorating a specific space in our homes for summer so it'll be packed full of decor ideas and inspiration you won't want to miss it so make sure you're make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and if you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up but i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you guys in my next one take care